thanks so much for your order. This is a how to use your puppet video and what's in the box from Box Dragon Puppets. Um, I am not going to be able to send this guy off till Tuesday because it is the King's birthday on Monday and it's already the weekend. But I will send him off as soon as possible. But this is a how to use your puppet video. So have a look at your puppet. He has a super awesomely long tail. I love that feather. Look at that feather. That will be in there and some awesomely long um, feathers as well. So he's got extra long feathers, this guy. And that's a look at his head. Just a close-up view of what I'm sending you just before I send it. And then his claws. I know I've put lots of photos and videos and stuff, but I always like to show you exactly what you're getting before you send it. So this is your puppet. In the box you'll get a puppet. You will also get a plate. Sorry, the plate's attached to the stand. You'll also get a plate and a magnet. Please don't lose a magnet. It'll be somewhere in your box. It's pretty small, so just you know, find it before you throw the box away. There is also a plastic coating on the um, on the plastic here, just to protect it when I'm making it. You can take it off when you get it. I like to leave it there when it's shipping, or you can just leave it on there until it starts to peel, and then take it off when it's peeled off too much. It works just as well with it, the plastic coating on. But yes, yeah, so you can you can't even see the plastic coating. You'd have to really peel it off to get it off there. But it's there, and you want it. It's there when it starts to peel, just take it off. It will look a bit messy after a while. Um, so to bend it, so that it fits over your shoulder, you want to bend it in two places. You want to bend it here and here, in just kind of a nice curve. You can just do this with your fingers. It's pretty soft metal steel. Um, and you just put it over your shoulder so that it fits neatly around the curve of your shoulder. If you're using the magnet, I'm currently using the magnet, but I'm wearing quite a thick woolly jumper. But if you're not wearing a thick woolly jumper, you may not need the magnet. It's You just use it as per you feel. So the magnet and the um, puppet and the plate go underneath the topmost layer of clothing. So I've got another shirt underneath there. It's on topmost layer of clothing so that you don't see it. You see, you don't see it on that side. Oops. Oh, I've got a hole in my jacket and I think I need some new clothing. Oh, Recycling. Um, so you've seen your puppet. So like everyone else, we puppets like to do exercise before they leave for the day. Like everyone, we all like to do a bit of exercise, morning exercise. The morning exercise with puppets is grab their head and just slowly move their head side to side. At the first, sometimes here, as if it's been sitting for a while and not doing anything, it gets a bit stiff. So you'll find as you do this, it will first start to feeling stiff and then it will get a little bit looser and it's better the side to side motion. If you just do this a few times, that's probably plenty. You'll feel it, you'll feel it start to get easier to move. The first time it's a bit stiff and the second time it's not as hard. But yeah, do that and it'll make more, um, make it easier to move side to side. Also, the straighter this cord is, the better the side to side motion will be. So I would suggest if it's been in storage for a while and the curl and you had it curled up in the tight ball, don't tight. If you can, this is better straight, left straight. But if it's curled up in a box, you know, uncurl it by just slowly just bending a little bit the opposite way of the curve and just moving along the thing. So I'm moving down and just along the cord to unbend it. So that's how to do it. So the straighter the cord is, the better the side to side motion. And once you've got it on, try and lock it into the magnet, which is now locked in. Grab the cord. Oh, that's not magnets in the wrong right spot. You're locked in now. There we go. Okay, grab the cord. I'll do it on this side. I'm right handed, so this is usually a bit difficult. So you can either do it one handed, like this. If you just got it in your lap and you're just subtly walking along, walking with your hands, you use it like this. And people will be like, oh, what's the, what? Did that just move? If, but if you've got two hands, you can hold it turn so I usually turn it with that one and hold it and then turn with this one to get a nice smooth motion so the combination of this will give you a turn and if so I'm just holding the pressure to the I'm holding that turn pressure in if I push it down you get a little bit of an extra turn see and if you let go it will turn back to the middle and I'm turning spinning with both hands spinning to go the other way and then another push will make it look a bit further and you've got looking at me hello and then back so you can combination of this you can watch this video a few times that will make it move and you can also hold the turn as well you can turn and so I'm pushing down and hold and it will turn and then lift down and then back to the middle the other thing you can also do is when you're doing it one-handed so push it down so as you push down move your shoulder a bit so I don't know if you can see that I have to do it with this hand I'm not as good with my left hand push move your shoulder and you push it you sort of move your shoulder very subtly and you push this down at the same time and it kind of gives it a good so you can move your shoulder forward very subtly. Just move your shoulder, it gives it a little bit extra movement. So this puppet will be in the mail on 
um, Tuesday. Sorry about the delay, but it's no one's putting anything anywhere on Monday because we celebrate straight, uh, the King's birthday in Australia on Monday. So on Tuesday, this puppet will be out. Sorry for a bit of delay, but thank you so much for your order. This puppet will be on its way very, very shortly. This is Box Dragon Puppets. Thank you.